кости за день. Только положил голову на соломенную подушку, уже снижив подъем, и никаких тебе ночных мыслей. More than any other instrument, the cello has a range that matches the human voice. It enabled Rostropovich to speak from the heart. In the late 1940s and early 50s, Rostropovich was the darling of the Soviet cultural scene. And he was a star, he was a genius, I mean, and he brought a lot of glory to the Soviet Union. One of the jewels in the crown, in a sense they were trained like the athletes, to the highest level, whether it was Olympics or athletics or international piano competitions. The people in Paris loved him. Like Beatlemania, but it was ballet mania. The, the Soviets suddenly realized that his personal success undermines the general success of the whole company. Nureyev had that incredible animal greatness. Do you have a sense of belonging anywhere? Dance? Just dance. dance. It was in 1970 that darkness began to envelop Rostropovich himself. political opponents who are dead, prisoned, or jailed is long. Anna Polakovskaya shot dead, Alexander Litvinenko poisoned by polonium, uh, Sergei Magnitsky allegedly beaten and died in prison, Boris Nemtsov shot moments from the Kremlin, moments from here, DC, and are all of these a coincidence, Mr. President? <laughs> so my question is, Mr. President, what are you so afraid of? The present situation will be that they're not allowed out of the country, no. and you're not allowed back in. No, I'm probably allowed back in, but not out again. <laughs> <laughs> the family's comfort was sanctioned by the authorities, in sharp contrast with the way they treated dissidents. Alexander Solzhenitsyn, for instance, the author of One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich, was under increasing persecution because of his frank portrayal of the dark side of the Soviet Union. Rostropovich offered him shelter at his country house outside Moscow, where Solzhenitsyn stayed as his guest. My father introduced him to us as teacher of mathematics. When the so-called maths teacher won the Nobel Prize for Literature, Moscow stepped up its campaign against him. Word of Rostropovich's private gesture of support began to spread. He felt he had to speak out and drafted a letter to the Soviet press defending Solzhenitsyn and artistic freedom. Slava said Solzhenitsyn was being persecuted and he had to defend him. Rostropovich found his concerts cancelled. People were told he was ill. His recordings were suppressed. But virtually the only places he could perform were in remote parts of the Soviet Union. Very grateful to everybody for the very warm welcome he's had in London. I would like to underline the fact that both myself and all my family remain Soviet citizens. And I'd also like to say that I love very deeply and very sincerely my country and my people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.